Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you could say that this is for the next seven days, okay? So let's just see what comes up. That one wants to come out. Heart. Love, deep affection, and caring. Something about your heart and love. Tender loving care. Mm. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Oh, we had two that just rolled right out. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Interesting. So you're dissatisfied. You're allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. You are protected from negative forces beyond your control. And this has something to do with your heart. Love, deep affection, and caring. So that's probably where you're dissatisfied, right? You're dissatisfied with matters of the heart by the looks of things. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Obviously you have to make a decision. Hmm. This one fell out. You have strong psychic abilities. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. Another card fell out. It's, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Just give them a chance. There's somebody that you need to give a chance. Hurricane season ahead. So this is a tower moment, right? So there's something big that is happening. It's huge. It's big. Maybe a, maybe a change in your foundation. Okay, when the hurricane rolls in, uh, you know, anything that isn't stable is going to get banged up, right? Or it's going to get destroyed, all right? So get prepared for some stormy weather, okay? Uh, what does a tower do? It, it causes disruption, okay? So there's disruption that uh, changes everything. Okay, so you're, you're going to probably be, be starting something new. Maybe you're going to be laying a new foundation with somebody. Um, I think that the, there's a uh, feeling upheaval, and I feel like it's internal upheaval with this change because perhaps you weren't ready for it. You don't get to choose, okay? When a, when a hurricane comes, the higher power is involved. That's all there is to it. So anyhow, I do believe that you are being called to give somebody a chance, but because it's not on your time or you don't, you know, that might be an issue, okay? You, you, you may be like, you know, I'm not ready for this. Well, you don't get to choose. Divine timing is real. This card's falling off. I don't know what it is. Now I do. Children are a factor. So this, there's something to do with your children. Um, maybe maybe, if, maybe there, it has to do with their children. Something to do with children. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition with whatever this decision is that you're making. I know that this is a very big decision because of the indecisiveness card up there, that wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And you're dissatisfied. You're dissatisfied with that. So I feel like if you want satisfaction in your life, you have to make a big decision. I know it's that, I know that this is, that, this is what this is about. So what are we, I wanna keep saying Libra, I've almost said it twice now, so some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Two of 
Pentacles. Now there is your choice. That is your big decision. I feel like you are, need to be flexible. Okay, you need to be flexible. This is a geometric power that is realigning you. Okay, I feel like this is a power that is higher than yourself. You think about that hurricane season. This is a higher power that is realigning you in regards to, you know, what you need in your life, what you don't need in your life. You're obviously going to have to make a choice. Five of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed in the future. Nine of Swords reversed. Moon reversed. Somebody is getting a reality check or there's some sort of truth that has come out. Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Wands. Sun card upright. And the Star card. So yay. So there's wish fulfillment here. This is a guaranteed success. There's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. The star comes after the tower, okay, in the deck. So something may have ended uh, suddenly. You may have had some major life change that was totally disruptive to you. You know, it was a complete shock. Everything came crumbling down. It totally caused a lot of... Uh, probably anxiety and uh, confusion and disarray and made you feel unstable and unsure of what you're gonna do next where you're gonna go and how is what are you what's gonna happen next but everything that has happened has happened for a reason because you are about to be blessed, okay? This is a blessing. You are about to receive a blessing from above. This is protection, okay? I feel like... Uh, I feel like you're really unstable right now. You're feeling unstable. There's guaranteed success in your future. A lot of happiness. We have the star and the sun card both together that is a breakthrough it is a new life it is a new beginning it is a yes answer this is absolutely beautiful so we have a beautiful new beginning here you may not be looking for it some of you may be very independent nine of pentacles reversed um or you may be afraid of becoming independent. That could go many different ways. There's going to be a change with the Two of Pentacles. That is a change, no matter what. There's going to be a change. You can't... You, right now, you may be able to handle what's going on, but you won't be able to handle it forever. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel like you've been neglected, maybe abandoned, or chosen to be a victim of your circumstances. Maybe you feel like a social outcast or nobody's helping you or you're not getting the help that you receive but maybe you're looking in the wrong direction i feel like um there's victim mentality here maybe you chose to be a victim the five of pentacles in reverse is in the past that's a victim of circumstance right and we all go through that so don't don't get upset. I feel like you uh, have all the skills that you need to be successful, but I think you're at you're at a point where you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. I think you've you've worked hard. You've been working hard, really, really, really. Maybe for the last two years, it feels like you've been working really, really hard to be successful, and it feels like there's a lot of uh, things that have been working against you. I feel like it's it's like. I don't know, maybe you've had some addictions that have cost you money or people have refused to help you or, you know, you've been in a state of disillusion yourself. I mean, in the past we have the moon reverse. That could be addictions or, or even fear, fear of change or unable to see the truth or, un, you know, I think that you've, you've been uh, or even disillusioned. In the Five of Pentacles reverse is the victim mentality. It's like choosing to be a victim to this circumstance, you know, not getting help. But I feel like you're at a point now where you just want success and anybody that can give you help, you'll take it. I think that you're ready. You're ready. You're ready for some help, okay? And I think you've been praying and you've been wishing and, and hoping and I think your prayers have been answered I think that they I think that uh, if you've been single say you're single and you're watching this you probably aren't going to be single much longer if you are still single um, because I feel like we have somebody you are about to be blessed with a new life a new beginning 
Um, and I think it's going to be a shock. I think it's going to be a complete shock to you because you might be like, you know what? I don't, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm, I'm too scared. I'm not ready. I'm not healed, whatever. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be shocked. I think, and then you're going to be in a place where you're giving deep thought to the whole setup, whatever it is, the whole relationship because of, uh, previous neglect or abandonment or, your own fears or whatever the case is. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Some are dealing with a uh, Leo. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. Um, I feel like you need to find your discipline to take action. You need to know your value. You need to focus on yourself. And I think that's what you're doing. It's like, I need to focus on myself. You're probably not looking for a relationship at all. We get the Nine of Pentacles reversed next to the Ten of Cups reversed. It's like, I'm not looking for a relationship. I need to focus on myself. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And you get presented with this option. And I think you're going to be like, oh my God, why are you giving me this? Why are you giving me? Some of you could even be a child. Okay, some of you may be a news of a birth. There could be, this is a blessing. You're, the, both the star and the sun are blessings. So you are, you may even be getting a double blessing. I don't know what this is, but whatever's happening, you are getting a blessing. Um, maybe you're getting a person with a child or something like that, or you're going to get pregnant or somebody is, or something to do with children because we had children are a factor. Anyhow, you are getting a blessing, whatever this, but it looks like it could be a double blessing. <laughs> Um, this is beautiful. Okay. This is guaranteed success. This is a fairy godmother granting your wish, answering your prayers, divine timing, not yours. This is all about divine timing. You don't get to choose. And I feel like, I feel like that's the biggest problem. It's like, uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Well, you don't get to choose, you know? Um, I feel like you need to release your fear. I feel like, um, uh, you don't have any trust. The moon card reverse, that's a lack of trust. Maybe you don't have any faith in relationships. Uh, maybe you went through some sort of uh, separation that cost you. You know, it really, really cost you. It cost you, um, <clears throat> well, it put a lot of burden on you. It, it, brought, it gave you a lot of baggage, whatever this past relationship was. I think there was a lot of deception there. There was a lot of secrets. There was a lot of lies. And so now you, you need to let go of that. You need to let go of that weight. You need to let go of that burden and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Be, don't let yourself be a victim to whatever that whatever happened there. I feel like um, you're very fearful with the Nine of Swords in the middle. The Nine of Swords is in the middle. It's reversed. That's extremely fearful, anxious, scared, scared of, 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 uh, I don't know if some of you it's given up your independence or scared of becoming independent because next to that is a Nine of Pentacles reversed. Or maybe you're just scared of, of starting over. Scared of making the wrong choice. Definitely fear. Giving deep, deep, deep thought to your options, to your choices. I feel like you need to find some discipline to work on your health as well. I feel like your health is a factor. I think that you need to focus on your health and maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're not focusing on a relationship. You're focusing on your health. You know, you want to focus, I don't know if you got some addictions here that are or weight issues with the Ten of Wands, There's addictions or weight issues, you know, and you need to... Uh, Maybe you've been neglecting yourself with the Five of Pentacles reversed, uh, mirroring the Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's neglect. You know, and you've been trying really, really hard. Maybe you've got so much on your plate that you're just neglecting yourself. I feel like you need to take care of yourself. You need to, you need to heal. There's healing that is needed. The star card and the sun card are both healing. And maybe that's where it's at. It's like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not making, I'm just working. I'm not, I'm not looking for a relationship. You're working, you're still healing from something. But you may be praying, maybe even subconsciously you're praying, you're praying for love. You're about to be blessed with a new life, a new beginning here. 
judgment, making a decision, a life-changing decision, two of cups reversed, about a partnership, the fool reversed, scared to death, the hangman refusing, refusing to, struggling to let go, refusing to open up. But now we got the tower. And the tower reversed is unavoidable change. You can't avoid it. It's time to lay a new foundation, right? This is a permanent loss. This is health problems as well. So some of you may be dealing with having some health issues. The fool reversed is foolish. It's a poor judgment call. Needing to make a life-changing decision that is best for your health. It may have to do with a separation. Two of cups reversed right next to that. You may, you may be dealing with somebody that is not healthy. Okay, this may be an unhealthy partnership. You know, this is not healthy. It's not a healthy situation. We got somebody here that's not healthy. They are refusing to budge. They're refusing to change. They're not going to, it's like, I, I don't have to. I'm not listening. I'm not going to, this is somebody, and maybe it's you. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to. I don't have to make any changes. The hey man reverse is struggling. It's struggling to let go, right? I will not change. Missing an opportunity. And the, and the fool card reversed is missing an opportunity for a partnership. So you may be missing an opportunity for a partnership because of stubbornness. I feel like you have an opportunity for happiness here. It's like your wish has been granted. Do not throw away an opportunity for happiness. You have an opportunity for happiness here. But you have to make a judgment call. This is a life-changing decision. It does have to do with a relationship. You're probably not looking for it. I also feel as in regards to your health that we have somebody here that has been unwilling to make any changes. Extremely stubborn and I feel like there's going to be some consequences for that. So somebody may, you know, uh, be getting a wake up call for not dealing with their health issues. Avoiding change, avoiding it. <clears throat> never saw it coming. You never, ever, ever saw this coming. This is, but the sun card is a breakthrough. It's a, new, it's the beginning. It's the, it's a new beginning. Next to the star, it's, it, this is what you asked for. You're about to receive a blessing. Maybe after this tower falls, you know, when an obvious, if it hasn't fallen, fallen already, it's going to fall. <clears throat> Some of you may be left independent. Or you're going to get yourself into a relationship that you weren't looking for. Could go either way. It literally could go either way with the two of pentacles being the first cards. It could go either way. You're definitely going to need to be flexible because I feel like your life is about to change. But I do feel like it is about to change for the better. <clears throat> There's some sort of relationship problems here. You know, the Ten of Cups reversed. That's a dying dream. <clears throat> now it's upright. I do it always, 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 always. So this is a major, a major uh, disturbance. Okay, we're gonna have a disruption. This could be an internal disruption. This may have something to do with your body, may have something to do with your home, may have something to do with your relationship. A change is needed. 
This is a false sense of security. This is a necessary evil that forces you to uh, lay a better foundation, lay a stronger foundation to stabilize, okay? This is a major dismantling, okay? So things are about to change. This like light is going to be shed on something that has been hidden, that has been um, ignored, okay? The truth is about definitely about to be revealed with the moon card reversed as well. You're about to get so something is going to happen that you never, ever, ever saw coming. It is a complete shock. It's going to be a shock to your system. Get prepared for some movement. We get the chariot on the bottom. That is fast forward movement. Okay. That is moving in a new direction. Finding the strength and the willpower and the discipline to go in a new direction. I feel like you are going to be moving, moving very, very fast. You're, you're going to um, need to uh, control your emotions. You're probably going to be taking a journey. You could be traveling or somebody could be traveling to you. This is moving extremely fast. It's like in a hurry. So things are going to happen fast. They are with that tower card. There's going to be fast forward movement. You never saw it coming. Somebody could be coming towards you really, really, really fast. Looks like we have some sort of hero here. I've, I've never noticed it in this card. The people, it's like cheering him on. Go, 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 go. So I don't know. Go. This is a leader. It is. If you look in the back, you see all the people in the back. This is a warrior. This is a warrior. So I feel like there is somebody that is coming fast. They are coming fast. Get prepared for a shock, a surprise. Somebody is headed in your direction really, 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 really fast. I feel like, I don't know if you have rejected somebody you may have rejected somebody and this person is is uh, unwilling to let go. They're unwilling to let go of the partnership. Four of Wands reverse, definitely not happy. Unhappy home, unhappy foundation, unstable foundation. I put it right with the tower. We definitely have an unhappy foundation. This party is over. It's nothing to celebrate. I I wish I I wasn't here. I'm looking for something more. It feels like we have somebody here that has been in a temporary situation. There's uprooting, definitely uprooting with the tower and maybe moving really, really, somebody may be moving really, really fast. Maybe they're leaving their current foundation. They're coming in your direction, moving towards you, moving towards you. Really, this could be somebody that's at a distance with the chariot. You're about to be shocked by some sort of arrival, I believe. There definitely could be somebody that is coming back around. Somebody may have gotten themselves into a situation that didn't turn out as good as they expected. And, you know, now it's time to move on. They're moving. They're, and, and did we see that? Oh, that was the other reading. I feel like we have somebody here that is making a life-changing decision to separate from a partner that uh, they have been hanging on to foolishly.
you are about to receive a blessing, your wish is about to be granted in some way, but it comes after a major disturbance of some sort, comes after a separation somebody is separating they are separating from a partnership that they are not compatible with they're not happy there and you're going to be shocked in some way you're going to be extremely very much shocked you're going to be shocked by this change you are May have something to do with a child. I already said that, didn't I? Oh my God, I can't believe this. Could be even news of a child, of a birth, you know, or a pregnancy or something like that. We have somebody here that has been pretending to be happy. They've been staying put in a situation. They've been thinking about leaving. I do think that they're going to be leaving. They could get into a huge fight with whoever they're with and boom, they're out. Out. There is definitely going to be a, the tower. We have the hurricane season and the tower. Get prepared for an event that changes your life. And that's what I got to say. Good luck.